Okay guys, I am back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be guiding you how to fix a recovery. It looks like Windows did not load correctly. So it's a kind of error message I am getting when I was just trying to turn on my PC. So if you guys are getting the similar kind of error message that it looks like Windows did not load correctly. So you can follow the steps in this video to fix the error like this. So step by step, I'll be guiding you with a different number of methods. So one either method will definitely help you fix this issue. There are several reasons why you'll be getting this kind of error message. So there are different types of solution for the several reason. So I'll be guiding you step by step in this video with a different solution. You're going to try to fix this issue. So let's begin with the method one. So first solution to fix this issue. Okay guys, sometime very minor issue and that can be fixed just by restarting your PC. So when you have the error message like this, you'll have a two different button over here. See the advanced repair option and restart my PC. So before we go with the advanced repair option, before we do any kinds of advanced repair or make any kind of changes in the computer, you just have to restart your PC. Just give a one try or a two try, restart. Just choose this option, restart my PC and click on the button. If the problem is not solved, we'll continue with the next solution. We'll go with the advanced repair option. So just restart, click on restart my PC to fix this issue. Okay guys, you can see problem is not solved. If solved, okay, you can enjoy. If not solved, now we'll go with the second solution. The second solution is advanced repair option. So if the problem is not solved, you'll definitely come back to the same window. You're going to click on see advanced repair options. You can say it's advanced repair option. Click on it. Now, you're going to see here troubleshoot right over here. You just click on this troubleshoot. Now, here you have a advanced option. Click on this advanced option. On the top, you're going to see startup repair. So the, you're going to click on this startup repair now. This is the second solution. Just click on the startup repair to fix the problem. If the startup repair do not fix your issue, just click on start up repair and it will start repairing your PC and your PC gonna restart. So the problem should be solved. If the problem is not solved, what you're gonna do guys in the third step, the third solution. So guys, let's click on start up repair to repair the PC. You're gonna choose the user. If you have a multiple number of user account over here, you're gonna choose the multi uh, user and you're going to put the password. So if you have a multiple number of user account right over here, you're going to choose the user account, which one is having the problem, which one you are not being able to log in. So choose the user account. Currently I have only one user account and you're going to put the password. If there's the no password, you just click on continue to for the startup repair. And then we'll proceed to the third solution if the problem is not solved. You can see. Okay guys, just after the startup repair, you must be able to log in into your PC. A startup repair might take a couple of minutes or it might take an hour. So give it time to start up repair and you must be able to log in into your PC. If you are not being able to start your PC and the problem is still exists, a startup repair is really very helpful and it really help a lot of people. So if you guys are still having the issue, let's proceed to the third solution. So guys, the third solution, click on this see advanced repair option. Once again, you just have to come down and then here you have a troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot. 
from troubleshoot you're going to choose advanced option so in the advanced option on the top you're going to see system restore click on this system restore choose the user account and then you're going to put the password if you have a password in your computer and then click on continue it's going to start off wizard you can see this is a system restore wizard system files and setting what it does it takes a system a week or a month back you're using a system a week or a month ago properly maybe six months or one year ago you're using a system properly if everything was fine so you can take a system back to that point of time so currently i do not have any restore point if you have a restore point you're going to click on next you're going to choose the restore point it will be mentioned with the time and date so you can choose the restore point at what point of time you would like to if you have a multiple number of restore point you just have to click on next and you'll get the multiple number of restore point to choose if you have a multiple number of restore point in your computer so you're going to choose the restore point and its system will go back to the previous state at that point of time when it was working fine so you can do this Currently, I don't have a restore point, so I'm just going to cancel. If you guys also do not have a restore point, you cannot do anything. Let's proceed to the fourth solution. So the fourth solution is from the same advanced boot option. You're going to click on troubleshoot. In troubleshoot, here you have the advanced option. Click on this advanced option. In the advanced option, here you go go back to the previous person select that and click on it so once you click on that it will ask you whether you would like to go back to the previous person you can go back to the previous person it will take some time sometime your pc won't go back to the previous person you will not have any previous person or there might be some issue going back to the previous person of windows so if you have a previous version of Windows and it was working fine, your system will go back to the previous version of Windows and again it will be working fine. Currently, I do not have any previous version of Windows and because of some reason, it is not going back to the previous version of Windows. So if you are having, if you cannot uh, go with this also, if you can't go back to the previous version of Windows, this was the first solution that you can try. So even if this do not fix, what are you going to do? From the same advanced repair option, you're going to choose troubleshoot. From troubleshoot, you guys are going to choose same advanced option. So the next solution that you can try is system image recovery. So click on this system image recovery. So this is the fifth solution that you can try so once you click on that what it does it will ask you for the cd or the dvd you guys got to have a cd or the dvd uh, you just have to insert your cd dvd or a pen drive into your computer where you have a recovery files and then you can retry so before you try you're going to put your dvd or a pen drive with a recovery image files so if you do not have that also we'll proceed to the next solution if you have you just insert it and click on next follow the wizard and you can fix the issue your system image recovery will help you recover your windows so let me cancel it currently i do not have that also So if you guys have, you can follow the wizard. If you guys do not have, let's proceed to the next solution, the sixth solution and the final solution. Click on troubleshoot again. All right. From the advanced repair option, you're going to choose the troubleshoot 
once again. And this is the sixth and the final option, resetting the PC. Click on this, reset this PC. Resetting this PC is the sixth and the final option. Resetting the PC will remove all the files from your computer and reinstall the Windows into your computer. So guys, if you want to keep your personal files and settings or you want to remove everything along with the personal files and settings, so you can choose one of the options and click on it, get into it, and it will start resetting the PC and everything will be removed from your computer. You can see everything is getting ready and your PC will be like new. It will be reinstalled and you can enjoy it. So guys, here is, be sure to read everything before you continue. So if you want to reset, click on reset. If you don't want to reset, you can just click on cancel. So doing all these things will definitely help you reset and doing all these six steps or following all the six steps will definitely help you log in into your windows once again i hope this video helped guys to fix your issue be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment if you have any issue leave a comment in the comment section down below have a good day catch you in the next video